Okay, our next movie is Bobby, and it features perhaps the most eclectic cast of the year. You've got Anthony Hopkins, Lindsay Lohan, Harry Belafonte, Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore, and Sharon Stone, all part of the huge ensemble. Written and directed with much passion and sentimentality, not so much subtlety, by Emilio Estevez, Bobby takes place entirely in the Ambassador East Hotel in Los Angeles on June 5, 1968. That's the last day of Robert F. Kennedy's life. Kennedy himself appears only in newsreel footage and voiceovers. William H. Macy plays the hotel's manager, and Christian Slater oversees the kitchen staff. Did you tell them that they couldn't leave to vote? <laughs> They're not gonna vote. Half of them are illegal, they can't vote. Why give them the time off for something they can't do anyway? Demi Moore plays a rapidly aging, booze-guzzling entertainer. Sharon Stone is the hotel's top stylist. We are like melting ice cream cones. You know what? I was wondering, like, exactly, I was thinking, when did I grow that flat spot on my head? In one of the most effective story threads, Lindsay Lohan plays a teenage girl who's going to wed former classmate Elijah Wood, so he won't be shipped to Vietnam. You should only get married once. Like our parents. It's not frivolous. It's not disposable. I'm okay with it. In my heart and in my head. And you're not taking anything away from me. This is my choice, William. With 20-plus characters milling about on one hectic day, Estevez wants Bobby to be a Robert Altman-level American epic on the order of something like Nashville. To that end, he falls short. However, Bobby does do a solid job of telling one generation what the world was like in the summer of 1968 and reminding another generation of a time when they believed a politician could really change the world. So I'm giving this one thumbs up. Well, I wish I could. I mean, I think this is such a good-hearted, such a sincere, you know, earnest and mm -hmm. well-intentioned movie. It just didn't work for me okay. dramatically um, at all. Um, I, I felt, you know, it was less like uh, Nashville to me like than, than like, you know, the towering inferno or an episode of, of Fantasy Island. I mean, it does feel like every time someone shows yeah. up, you're like, wow, there's Harry Belafonte, there's Lindsay Lohan, there's Demi Moore, all these people. Who, who isn't it? I mean, it, yeah. I think it's, it's true. It's, it's the third movie we've talked about today that, that feels a little overcrowded, I think. Mm. And, and just never, it never really took dramatic shape for me. I mean, the thing that was that, that it was about was this external event that you're waiting to happen, and when it comes, it's quite powerful. What I will exactly. say... Exactly. Well, I mean, that's the thing, Tony, and I, and I do think, Estevez, with all these characters, you do care about, about a lot of them, so that when we get to that moment, when Bobby Kennedy goes through the kitchen of the Ambassador East mm -hmm. on his way to a press conference and shots ring out, we do want to know what happens to these, you know, fictionalized versions of the other people who were really there that, at that point. Uh, we did, I didn't mention Freddie Rodriguez as the busboy right, who ends right. up cradling Robert F. Yeah. Kennedy. I mean, that's yeah. very moving. It's very touching, I think, and very well rendered by the, Estevez. The most moving thing, I thought, though, was the speech by Kennedy himself that, yes. that comes at the end, which was just extraordinary contrast to what I think. And I think Estevez does a does. really good job yes. of incorporporating that I'll real footage that, yes. and, and using some audio. And I do think for younger people, especially, it'll be something that that'll help get them to understand what was going on at the time. Well, I think its intentions are good, but for me, it didn't it didn't quite okay. work.